Well, anyone who's owned a small dog knows that there's something special about pets that can both keep up with the big dogs and also cuddle on the couch. Well, here to talk about some ways to help keep your small dogs healthy, happy, and mighty are Jordan Reed and pet expert Jen Fidel. Thank you. Have you ever noticed that there's something a little different about small dogs from large dogs? Maybe it's something about the way they move. They bounce and zip around, and they seem always on the go. They're ready to take on the world. Today I'm here with pet expert Jen Fidel, and she's going to give me some tips on how to make sure these little dynamos stay on the go for a long time to come. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jordan. And who is this? This is Ida. She's Hello, a beagle. Ida. She's a perfect example of a small breed dog. She's adorable. She's cute as can be. So before we get to the tips, can you tell me what's, what's special, what's different about small dogs? Well, first of all, they're brimming with personality. Mm -hmm. You'll never meet a small dog that doesn't have a lot of personality. They love to be loved, they love to give love, and you know, they're unstoppable. They're full of energy. So you have some tips for us on how to keep small dogs feeling their best? Absolutely, and the first thing would be is to, to make sure they're on a specially formulated diet for small dogs because they have so much energy and they're trying to run with the big dogs. Their gait is so much smaller that, you know, a big dog may take five steps and they're taking 30 steps to get to the same right. place. So make sure that the diet has protein, fat, and calories, and a great choice is Mighty Dog Food for small dogs because it has great nutritional benefits as well as the dogs love it because there is a variety of flavors. So speaking of fuel, how do we make sure that they're, that they're getting enough? Because I know small dogs don't always necessarily eat all that they're given. Yeah, sometimes they can be a little bit picky. Mm -hmm. But it's important to maintain a healthy routine at every meal time. So feed them twice a day. Keep their food down for about 20 minutes. If they don't eat it, pick it up because they will learn to eat it. If they're becoming picky, like let's say with a dry food, try mm -hmm. maybe a smaller bite size or even adding wet food. As you can tell, she's loving it. What about exercise for small dogs? Any differences? Well, they do need to be exercised, and I think that's a common misconception. A lot of people think, oh, it's a small breed dog, can be kept in an apartment all day and, and not exercise, but they mm. do. And training? And training is important because you want your dog to be healthy mind and body. Mm -hmm. Healthy dog, well-behaved dog, happy owner. Use some toys, like this is a, called a treat ball. You can put their treats in it. Oh. They roll it, Ida was playing with it earlier. Roll it around, run around with it, and the treats fall out either end. Oh, so it really keeps them entertained. Keeps them entertained. Oh, she wants more. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like, well, see, that's, that's if you don't like walking your dog, especially your small breeds, because they tend to pull sometimes, Try using a harness. We brought one for, as an example. But really, try any harness with your small dog and you will have more control versus them controlling you. Do these tips apply across all small breeds of dogs or is each breed different? Well, you know, you really need to learn your breed because, mm -hmm. for example, Ida is a beagle. They were bred to hunt. So she is, she's a hound. She was led by her nose. She, she has extra energy. She's very smart. So if you own an Ida, you really need to train them and wear them out. Versus a pug, let's say, mm -hmm. who is another small breed, they were bred to just sit on the laps of emperors in China. Oh, so well. they don't need to spend a lot of energy. They don't need a lot of exercise. So before you get a small dog, ask the following questions. Are they child friendly? Will they be good in a family environment? Will there be skin and coat issues? If so, how often do you need to maintain their skin and coat? What are their exercise requirements? If you're not big into exercise, you probably don't want a dog that is. Do they shed? What is the maximum their weight will become? You don't want to think you're getting a 10 pound dog when you end up with a 20 pound dog. What is their life expectancy? Are they prone to any disease? And finally, what were they bred to do? Your dog may exhibit some very bizarre behavior and it just may be a breeding Thing. Well, thank you for those tips, Jen. That was great. You're welcome. If you are already smitten with your own small dog, here's a chance to see the world through his eyes. Visit the Mighty Dog Adventures game at MightyDogAdventures.com where you can navigate a series of playful challenges just as a Mighty Dog would.